Hey guys, before we start today, I wanted to tell you about a pretty cool conference that's coming up. It's called the Thrive Conference. It's being held by BC Food and Bev. It's going to be on June 15th at the Park Hotel in Vancouver. It's going to be a really great day of TEDx style talks. You're going to get a chance to network and build community, do some laughing, have a cocktail, have some lunch. Um, there's going to be some pretty amazing inspirational speakers there. Uh, make sure you head to www.foodprobc.com and sign up there. June 15th, Park Hotel in Vancouver, Thrive Conference by Elisa and BC Food and Bev. Hey guys, we're we're here today with Karen um, and we're she's going to introduce herself in a second. I Cannot say enough how excited we are to talk to her. It's probably a little weird for her because we probably know a whole lot more about her than she knows about us. Um, and then we're kind of like weird and crazy people already. So I feel like she might be a little overwhelmed with us just kind of jumping and going, Aaron, we know who you are. So she's like, oh my God. Um, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> so, so we're doing a little bit here because Karen is going to be at Food Pro 23. Um, which is the BC Food and Bev thing. And she's going to be on a panel. She's going to be with some wonderful people that we already love. Um, like Jade is going to be there from Yogu, who we love a lot, Jade Herman. And then there are a bunch of other speakers there. Yves uh, Pot Fan from Conscious Foods is going to be there. He's super cool. And then Yvonne Anderson, we're going to talk to you next week. So there are a bunch of folks there. Um, but we thought we just, um, we talked to Karen for a second. She can introduce herself. So if you're going or you haven't decided whether you're going, she's going to be there. You, you should, should go. probably go. Um, so, so Karen, I'm going to shut up now and, and maybe j just introduce yourself. What an intro. <laughs> um, <laughs> pressure is mounting. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, at not all. with us. No, no, no. Um, well, hi, my name is Karen Danajaya. I'm the co-founder and CEO of a brand called Bloom. Bloom is based in Vancouver, Canada. It's a team of 13 women, and our mission is to make superfoods more accessible. So what we do is we take kind of these classically syrupy drinks that don't have any functional benefits and recreate them so you can have your cake and eat it too. So we do things like pumpkin spice, salted caramel, um, and traditionally they'd have 40 grams of sugar, and we make them with less, less than five grams of sugar. And they're all organic and filled with superfoods. And really the impetus of the company was I was working in this corporate job. Um, I had found a ladder that I was, you know, intending to climb. And I just was so uninspired by work. Um, I found myself constantly writing in notebooks, like being in dreamland, wanting to create and build a community. And uh, Bloom was started off the side of my desk. And the first store that we sold to was a smoothie shop that I walked past every day to that corporate job on my way to work. And they, they purchased 30 turmeric lattes. And that was before we had a product or a name or anything. It was just purely a really nice guy who I tricked into the first order. <laughs> and, 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 um, and now we're available in about 2000 points of distribution, including Erwan awesome. and Whole Foods. Um, and we're really omni-channel. So we're a mix of an e-commerce company as well as being in store and in food service and just very gratefully building community and building bloom and, um, one, one stone at a time. Um, yeah, that's a little bit about me. Good for you. We, we love it. Um, Good for you. the, when, when I met Karen, I, I told her that, um, some of the guys that we really love, so hearts and carts. Um, she was on their podcast. So if if you haven't heard it, you should go listen to that. Um, I think the line from that podcast uh, that I probably sent to a bunch of folks is how you talked about building, you know, like calling on something like 1200 stores by yourself before you really started to get like, um, you know, like other people helping. I don't know if I inflated the number there, but it was a significant amount of well, stores. Well, there's bootstrapping like, and there's kind of like, yeah. you know, extreme bootstrapping. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you, you know, like um, I was just obsessed with it, you know, like, and I still am. I love, I love it. Um, I love the people we get to interact with. I love um, 
hearing how we solve pain points. And it's amazing what that will do for your energy, just like mm -hmm. being passionate about what you do. And, and so in the beginning, I would literally, I remember like Greens Organic is the place in Vancouver that carried yeah. us from the beginning, carries us mm -hmm. now. The way that we got into that store is I went to the blends that was like immediately adjacent to it and brought in, you know, our product, asked them to make it, ordered like a steamed non-dairy milk. Um, and so it was like a bloom latte in a blends cup. And I brought that to the, to the owner or to Dale, who is the buyer owner of grains. Right. And, um, and yeah, it was, I would literally like just bring lattes from neighboring cafes to, you know, vegan supply, Hey Kokomo, these are all kind of like our first accounts and they're still accounts today. And the people who run these stores are crazy passionate. They're passionate about small business. They're passionate about organic, natural foods. They're passionate about wellness. And, um, and I, I was coming from this like commercial real estate, you know, managing big tendencies. And I don't know, like, just like the change in people and interactions was so inspiring for it's me. It's a whole so, different world. Totally different world. And, and I loved it. So the first two years, maybe more than that. Um, the years are all muddled together, but <laughs> was, up until, up until 2020, it was just, it was just me and the business. Um, so we hired like our first team member, June, April, June, in that kind of span. Wow. 2020, okay. so. That's so, crazy growth that you've done really, really well for a very short period of time, really. And a lot of it on your own. Well, you know, a lot of it has been in the last, you know, two and a half years. So I think you know, the first year we did 200,000 in sales. I think the next year we did maybe like 240,000 in sales. Like it was something, something like that. And then the year after that, it was 1.8 million. So it just, um, changed all of a sudden and, um, I'm having so much fun with it and so much fun with the team and, and really like feeling the community coming together six years later um we just had this crazy thing happen on the site I don't know if this is the right place to talk about it but it's very top of mind for me because it just yeah. happened go, go. tell sure. us yeah um so our site which is like about 50 percent of the business was has been broken for the past couple two like the past week couple weeks and we can't figure it out and we have smart people on the team like we have you know all the tools that you're supposed to have to be able to diagnose these things and we just like couldn't think we couldn't replicate the problem so you can't solve it and so you know obviously it had a huge impact in sales for those two weeks and yeah. we were all feeling really nervous and so we just decided to on instagram ask our community for help like go on the site sleuth it you know like try and find out like if you see something send screen recordings to us because so we can fix it yeah so it's basically like this call to action being like our site's broken help. <laughs> and that post was shared a thousand times organically. It led to two record setting days for us on our e-commerce store where people wow. were, you know, and, and it led to over, um, like just like hundreds of people sending interactions, their experience. Some people had no issues and some people had really big bugs. And now the develop we have a developer working on the issues identified by our customers, and that developer came to us through this process too. That he saw it offered. That's craziness. That's awesome. Yeah, it's crazy. So the the community piece of Bloom is like the best, juiciest, most wonderful part, and um, everything else is kind of it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're definitely coming on the podcast. I don't know. Okay, so, not even so ask anymore. You're coming on. We're just gonna book a time. So, so this is a fast thought, and we'll we'll wind it up with this. Is when I first got on with Karen. Karen said, "I don't really know if I have anything to contribute or anything meaningful or much to say." And then in the last less than ten minutes, <laughs> it's oh, been absolutely. super captivating. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so if you're going to Food Pro, uh, you should go. Because if you're on the fence, Karen's going to be there. Um, Doing something. It, it's going to be amazing. And then and then, thank you for coming on with us. And we look forward to having you on the podcast. We would love it a lot. Yeah, honestly, it'd be great. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. And yeah. I would 
I'd be honored to chat with you guys more and to to be on the podcast. So we'll find some time.